श्री सरस्वत नम श्री गुरुदेवभ्यो नम वक्रतुंद महाकाय सूर्यकोटी समप्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देवा सुसर्वद गजाननम नमामि विघ्नेश्वर पाद पंकज जय 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 गणनायक जय जय विघ्न विनाशक जय 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 गणनायक शुभ मंगल दायक विद्या बुद्धि प्रदायक हे शुभ मंगल दायक विद्या बुद्धि प्रदायक गजवदना गौरी नंद गज बदना गौरी नंदन गंगाधर शिव शंभो नंदन गंगाधर शिव शंभो नंदन जय 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 गणना गणपति भगवान की जय ओ श्री सूर्याय नमः ओम श्री सूर्याय नमः ओम श्री सूर्याय नमः ओम आदित्याय विदमहे दिवाकराय धीमहे तन्नो सूर्य प्रचोदयात् ओम अश्वध्वजाय विदमहे पद्महस्ताय धीमहे तन्नो सूर्य प्रचोदयात् ओम नमो भगवते श्री सूर्याय नमः ओम नमो भगवते श्री सूर्याय नमः नमो भगवते श्री सूर्याय नमः ओम सूर्याय नम आदित्याय नम सूर्याय नम आदित्याय नम 
आदित्याय नमा दिवाकराये सचानुर्मर्दनम् देवकी परमानंदम् कृष्णम् वंदे जगतगुरुम् अधरम् मधुरम् वदनम् मधुरम् नयनम् मधुरम् हसीतम मधुरम अधरम मधुरम वदनम मधुरम नायनम मधुरम हसीतम रेदयम मधुरम गमनम मधुरम मधुराधिपते रखीलम मधुरम मधुरा वचनम् मधुरम् चरितम् मधुरम् वसनम् मधुरम् वरितम् मधुरम् चरितम् मधुरम् ब्रह्मितम् मधुरम् मधुराधिपते रचितम् मधुरम् मधुराधिपते वेनु मधुरो रेनु मधुर पानीर मधुर पादो मधुरो नित्यम मधुरम सर्गम मधुरम मधुराधिपते रखीलम मधुरम मधुराधिपते गीतम् मधुरम् पीतम् मधुरम् भोक्तम् मधुरम् सोतम् मधुरम् रूपम् मधुरम् तिलकम् मधुरम् मधुराधिपते रखीलम् मधुरम् मधुराधिपते मधुराधिपते रखिलम् मधुरम् मधुराधिपते रखिलम् मधुराधिपते रखिलम् मधुरम् मधुराधिपते 
मधुरखिलम मधुरम प्रेम से बोलो श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की जय As we continue our morning prayers, um, these are the chants we do on a Sunday morning to bring harmony, to generate peaceful energies. The chant we just did was called the Madhur Ashtakam. The Madhur Ashtakam are the verses in praise of Bhagwan Shri Krishna. Madhur means sweetness, sweetness not which we consume on a physical level but sweetness of emotions and sweetness of expressions and uh, Shri Krishna Bhagawan is associated with sweetness we think about uh, or we associate sometimes his makan his you know butter that he ate eats and other things and we, we call that sweetness that's that's very good um, the reason why sweets are offered to Bhagawan I think all of you know why we offer banana, why we offer anar. These are the fruits of our karmas, Prabhu. While we cannot physically take all the fruits of our karma and offer it to you, we offer you the fruits as prashad, as a gift from us to you. The sweets are offered to represent the sweetness of our emotions. Bhagwan Ji Krishna, when he's worshipped, blesses us with the ability to conquer all forms of adharmic activities, of negative activities and energies, and to allow only sweet emotions to prevail. It is to, the, to that Lord that we bow this morning and seek his blessings on all of you. Our shrota this morning is Malika and her family, as they've invited us to come and celebrate life with them. We ask Bhagwanji's blessings to all of them, Stanley, Malika, and their children. And uh, may all of you as well who are viewing and who are in the temple stay connected and blessed in the name of the Lord. Let us now chant the Ram prayers, Bhagwan Sri Ram. Bhagwan Ram is Madhyada Purushottam. He is the highest order of life that walked on this planet. And uh, when we bow to him, his um, his abilities as well will be transformed into our existence. Shri Ram, Shri Ram, Shri Ram, Shri Ram. Ramaya, Ram Bhadraya, Ram Chandraya Vedase, Raghunatha Nathaya, Sitaya Padaya. Shri Ram Chandra Kripalu Bhajman Haran Bhavu Bhaitaru Hey. 
Saraswati. Just uh, in about two weeks or so, we'll be observing Chaitra Navratri to the Divine Mother. Chaitra Navratri, of course, occurs in the month of Chaitra or Vasant in the spring season. This is one of those times when Bhagwan Ram himself devoted his time and energies to performing devotion to Divine Mother Durga Devi. When we have a need in life, regardless of what that needed, especially when we have losses in life, Ma Durga ensures there is no guarantee as to when you will recover from your loss, but at least while we are going through our challenges, either a loss of a relative, loss of a family member, loss of anything material, Ma will give us that energy through our devotion to be strong and to withstand any forceful impacts which may come to us. Today we pray to Ma Durga, Ma Lakshmi and Saraswati Devi and seek their guidance on all of you and uh, bless you with good health and happiness. Om Dum Durga Namaha Om Dum Durga Namaha Om Dum Durga Namaha Om Jayanti Mangala Kali Bhadra Kali Kapali Durga Kshama Shiva Dhatvi Swaswadha Namostute Jai Tvam Devi Chamundi Jai Bhutan 
दुर्गा माता की जय ओ श्री महालक्ष्मी नमः ओम श्री महालक्ष्मी नमः ओम श्री महालक्ष्मी नमः ओम लक्ष्मी करो तु कल्याणम आरोग्यम सुख संपद मम शत्रु विनाशा दीप ज्योतिर नमोस्तुते नमस्ते अस्तु महामा श्री पीते सुरपूजिते शंकचक्र गदाहस्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते प्रेम से बोलो श्री महालक्ष्मी मात की जय ओम श्री सरस्वती नमः ओम श्री सरस्वती नमः ओम श्री सरस्वती नमः या कुंदेन्दु तुषार हार धवन या सुभ्रवस्त्रावित
शंख गृहता पर मायुधे शंख चक्र प्रसिद्ध वैष्णवी रूपे नारायणी नमो सुधे नारायणी नमो सुधे नारायणी नमो सुधे ओ नारायणी नमो सुधे बोलो जगदंबिका मात की जय प्रेस्ट भगवान शिव जी ओ नम शिवा ओ नम शिवा ओ वंदे देव मुति सुर गुरु वंदे जगत कारण वंदे पन्नगभूषण मृगधर वंदे पशूना वंदे सूर्यशांतवाहन वंदे मुकुंद प्रिय वंदे भक्तजना स्वयं च वरदम वंदे शिव शंकर शात पदमासनस्त शशिधर मुकुट पंचवक्रम त्रिनेत्र शूल वज्रम चखम परशुभ भैद दक्षिणांगे महात नागम पाशम चंता दमरुत सही चाकुजम वागे नालंकारयुक्त स्फति कमणिव पार्वती शम नमा ओ नम शिवाय नम शिवाय पति महादेव की जय उच्चांत लिंग अष्टकम एट वर्सेस ऑफ द लिंग अष्टकम आफ्टर विच एवरीवन विल हैव अ चांस टू कम अप ऑन द अल्टर एंड ऑफर प्रसादम एंड अर्चना इफ यू सो डिजायर टू हैव फ्लावर्स यू कैन परचेस इन द पूजा स्टोर ब्रह्म मुरारी सुरा चित्त लिंगम निर्मल भाषित शोभित
flowers, your prashad, and if you need to purchase any flowers, you can do so in the puja store. Thank you.
जो तुम इताना चाहे जीवन की तृष्णा जो तुम इताना चाहे जीवन की तृष्णा सुबह शाम बोल बंदे कृष्णा 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 सुबह शाम बोल बंदे कृष्णा 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 जो तुम इताना चाहे Shama Bola Bande Krishna 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 Suma Shama Bola Bande Krishna 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 Nam Pavan Pavan Krishna Nam Pyara Pyara Jona Bol Krishna Krishna Jaga Me Vahara Hara Krishna Nam Pavan Pavan Krishna Nam Pyara Pyara Jona Bol Krishna Krishna Jaga Me Vahara Hara Maneka Ante Adiyara Krishna Krishna Mana Kamite Adiyara Bole Krishna Krishna Suba Sham Bola Bande Krishna 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 Suba Sham Bola Bande Krishna 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 जिस को मिले ना तेरा सुख नाम राम क्या जाने जो न जाए कृष्णा कृष्णा मित्र का जन क्या जाने जिस को मिले ना तेरा सुख नाम राम क्या जाने जो न जाए कृष्णा कृष्णा मित्र का जन क्या जाने चाहे अगर Shama Bola Bande Krishna 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 Suba Shama Bola Bande Krishna 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 तुम विनती सुनो सबके कल्याण करो जग का सदराह दिखा करके उधार करो दुर्गा उधार करो दुर्गा तुम 
We'll uh, sit in a few moments of silence, everybody. This is a brief moment every Sunday morning, which we use in order to realign, calm our minds down a little bit, focus, and seek the blessings of God in meditation. Just like to sit upright. Posture is very important. Let your uh, palms be rested on your knees, facing upward. Thumb and index finger touching each other, forming the shape of a circle. Let your spine be straight to allow the proper flow of prana in and out of your body. Before you close your eyes, please look at the altar, at one of the beautiful forms of Bhagwanji. And when you close your eyes, let that form be imprinted at the center of your forehead. We take a deep breath in through our nostril, deep and slow, and then we exhale through our mouth, chanting Om. Start. Oh Chinjay Mantra Om Trambakam Yeja Mahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukme Vavandana Mrityor Mokshiyamamrita Trambakam Yajamahi Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukame Vavandana Mrityor Mokshiyamamrita Teom Trambakam Yajamahi Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukame Vavandana Mrityor Mokshayamam Ritateo Namaste Astu Bhagavan Vishveshwaraya Mahadevaya Triambakaya Tripurantakaya Trikalagni Kalaya Kalagni Rudraya Nilakanthaya Mrityunjaya Sarveshwaraya Sada Shivaya Sriman Mahadevaya Namo 
महादेव silence we sit allowing our minds to be still continue to close your eyes and let your gaze be centered between your eyebrows and sit still for a few moments in meditation With your eyes closed, we remind ourselves in this simple chanting, Shivoham, Shivoham, Prema Swarupoham. We are Shiva, we are Shiva, and we are a form of love. We are a manifestation of love. To the feet of Mahadev, we bow. Shivoham, Shivoham, Prema Swarupam, Shivoham, Shivoham, Prema Swarupam Shivoham Shivoham Prema Swarupam Shivoham Shivoham Prema Swarupam Shivoham Shivoham Prema Swarupam Shivoham 
शिवोहम प्रेम स्वरूप शिव शिव प्रेम स्वरूप शिव शिव प्रेम स्वरूप प्रेम स्वरूप प्रेम स्वरूप ओम शांति 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 Please open your eyes. Prem se bolo ma pati mahadev ki. Om. Shri Ram Chandra Bhagwan ki jai. वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय टुडे इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे फॉर हिंदूज इट्स कॉल्ड पूर्णिमा फुल मून सो वी ऑल डू अ लिटिल चैंटिंग टू भगवान नारायण ऑन दिस वेरी ऑस्पिशियस डे श्रीमन नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण 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 श्री मारायण नारायण नारायण श्री मारायण नारायण नारायण श्री मारायण नारायण नारायण श्री मारायण नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण नारायण श्रीमन नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण 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 हो भजमन नारायण 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 भजमन नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण 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 हो स्वामी नारायण 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 स्वामी भजमन नारायण 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 भजमन नारायण 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 ओ भजमन नारायण 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 भजमन नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण नारायण 
नारायण नारायण श्रीमन नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण 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 श्रीमन नारायण 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 बोले नारायण भगवान की moon is a day to give thanks and express gratitude so the first thing we're going to do is say thanks this morning everybody repeat after me thank you everybody say thank you pandit ji for bringing the sunshine from guyana jai sri ram everyone i hope all of you are well welcome to our sunday morning satsang um today is uh, purnima This evening will be burning Holika. What a thing for Hindus to do! We are burning people. We are burning Ravan for um, Dash, uh, Dashera. We are burning Holika for Purnima. Burning is a good thing. When you burn something, if it's if it's if it's something bad that you're burning, it's nothing wrong with that. When you go to the gym. you have to burn you have to burn away your calories you hop on the treadmill or you do some weight traction whatever it is you do you're burning 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 is good you're burning away the impurities the calories of the body when you're doing puja you're burning away your karmic qual- uh, uh, calories whatever we do every day knowingly or unknowingly that is improper for the people around us and improper for ourselves through puja we generate positive divine energies to help burn away the impurities right so burning is a good thing when we burn ravana on dashera after the october navratri we were supposed to be burning the 10 heads of ravana which means the 10 types of egos that a human being carry not one type of ego many many types of ego when we burn holika today we're supposed to burn away the wickedness in a human being holika used her powers to try to defeat to try to defeat a son of god and that is prahlad maharaj i don't know how many of you know the story but today we're celebrating the victory of prahlad maharaj the victory of a devotee over his evil father Prahlad Maharaj was a son of Narayan he is a son of God or the devotee of Bhagwan and uh, his father was a very powerful king by the name of Hiranyakashipu because of a little power he wanted to show the world that he is powerful than the source of his power whatever you and i have we have gained it from someone and if we try to ignore that source if we try to ignore that source we become powerless when we close our eyes and sit in a very brief or long meditation to god we are making a connection with our source prayer meditation kindness compassion all these things are important to make a connection with our source why because when we make a connection with our source we are recharged we are reenergized right and in some cases we are refurbished from nothing to something that is how important it is to make a connection with your source who's that source the divine the creator parmatma or bhagwan for that reason when people pray after they finish praying they, they feel so happy they feel so energized you ask anybody who has done a puja at their home like, oh god this home feels so light now our mind is at peace now mind is at ease now because that is the power of prayer that is the power of worship that is what happens when we make a connection to our source prahlad maharaj was a young boy who was connected to his source his bhagwan and his father was overpowered by his own ego there are many people who are trying to destroy you 
but they will not succeed. The only most dangerous form of destruction is called self-destruction. When we destroy ourself, you know, many people know this, when you have an infection on the skin outside, externally, it is very easy to heal and to cure. A little bit of topical cream and so on, it's okay. But when you see you have an infection from internal, from inside of you, it is very more, it is very more, uh, much more difficult to cure and to heal. Whatever happens inside of us on a negative level will be destructive to us. Self-destruction is the most dangerous form of destruction. When you destroy the self. And that is what Hiranyakashipu was doing. He's using his ego to destroy himself. So he was telling the world that he's God, but his son Prahalad, of course, does not subscribe to that. His son was connected to the source, so he knew who was God. You know the story, I think? He sent his son to the school, and he instructed the teachers to teach everyone that he is God, Hiranyakashipu is God. But his son, during his breaks, he used to teach all the other kids about the greatness of Narayana. And when he tried everything, Hiranyakashipu tried everything to kill his own son, Look at the length a, a person will go just to preserve or to say that they are powerful. They would want to kill those around them, demolish those around them to say, just say I'm powerful. Isn't that what the weeds do in the garden? The weeds in the garden will grow so strong and so tall just to tell the little flowers around them. <laughs> you, listen, you hide be, be beneath me. I'm going to show the world how powerful and strong I am as a weed. And the grass will grow bigger than the flowers. All of you know that. Weeds grow longer, taller, and stronger than, than the flowers would grow. Isn't it? Why is that? We spend most time in our garden taking out weeds than we spend preserving the flowers. Flower, put, put, in, put in the soil, throw the water, yeah, right. But we got to spend so much time pulling out the weeds of life. You translate that to life itself. We have to spend the most time in our life pulling out the weeds, any negativity from us. How do you do that? Connect to your source. Connect to your source. Connect to your source. So Hiranyakashipu, the evil king, he had a, a sister by the name of Holika. Holika was given the blessing that you know, she was a, uh, she was a, 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 you know, she's not a good person, but she had devotion in her to God at some point in her life. And Bhagwanji blessed her that if she sits on fire even, she will not be burned. That's the tapasya she did, strong. No fire would be able to burn her. Hiranyakashipu says, Holika, come. We, when we were little, we were told that she, she had a special sari. That's when she wore the sari. That's, that's, that's not so. It's not the sari. In that case, she could have given the sari to anybody, and anybody could have sit down there and do that. But it's not the sari. It's her. What she possessed. She possessed the ability that no external flames could burn her, could consume her. So, Hiranyakashipu said, Listen, my sister, are you loyal to your brother? Of course she's going to say yes, or she's going to get killed. Okay, come, we'll make this pyre of fire. And you're going to sit on this fire, and you're going to take my son, because all, everybody like their poor. Everybody trusts their poor. Holika was the poor of Prahlad. No? You know when, when a child is getting married? When a child is getting married, who fills up the kalash at the Matiko time? Huh? How many body know? Put up your hand. Two, three body know. There we go. The poor. The poor fills up the kalash. At Matikor time. You know what? You know what the filling up the kalash means? Why why the poor does fill up the kalash? Poor come back on a corner, big bucket so on again. <laughs> you know, like a kalash and thing there. Like a one big bucket and I'm a take. And I fill up the kalash like this. So. 
Why the poor? Why not the mousy? Right? Why not the, the auntie next door? Why not the shrota, the person who gets married, is not full of the kalash? Huh? The father's relation? Yeah, very good. No, no, no. It's good. The poor becomes the most trusted and nurturing person to the child's life. That is our tradition. Poor. Trusted and nurturing person to that child's life. And pouring the water in the kalash, you know what that means? The poor usually is sent to the seven tirthas, seven holy rivers, Ganga, Yamuna, Saraswati, Godavari, Narmada, Sindhu, Kaveri. The poor in the ancient times would go to the Saptanadi, the seven ancient rivers, and bring a little water from all of them. And then, you know what she'd do? She'd come home, and then the main kalash that will be used to bless the bride, the Dullaha or the Dullahin, her nephew or niece, or whatever the case is today, um, that same seven water, when it is mixed, is poured into the kalash. You see the kind of responsibility a poor have? And then the father would take out a small piece and give the poor. Right? They have a special name for that too. Anyways, the poor is the most trusted person. So next time you fill up water, must consider where you're getting the water from. It's very nice. You must go to India and get the water. But your brother have to pay you the money to go to India. Right? Ali Saptanadi have to pay you the money to go there. Don't, don't go for free. Hello? Nothing is free. Bhagwan Ram call you there. Uh, run, run, run. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Who? The poor? No, no, poor can be anybody who is married or unmarried. If the poor is not married, that doesn't mean she must be deprived of her duties. You have some horribly married poor too, but you know. Okay, so, it can be anybody. Anyways, so the poor does the job. The poor becomes the most trustworthy person. Hiranyakashipu said, wait, there cannot be a most trustworthy person than the poor of Prahalad. Right? You hear about your poor, you're very excited, daddy, sister. Oh, and what she did, she said, come, beta, come, let's go sit in meditation. Let's go sit on dhyanam and let us worship Narayan. Narayan, Narayan, Jaja Govinda Hare, Narayan, Narayan, Jaja Gopala Hare. Prahlad says, Narayan, very good, let's go. And where am I going to sit, poor? You're going to sit in my lap. Go to me, maki, ak, kuli. Right? Just like you sit in the lap of your mother, you're going to sit in my lap. And we're going to do puja together. Boy was very happy. I'm going to sit in the lap of my poor. Ah. So what happens? She goes onto a pyre. Onto the burning. It wasn't burning as yet. And she sat there and Prahlad Maharaj sat on her lap. And they went into deep meditation. Deep dhyanam. And then the fire was lit afterwards while they were sitting on that pyre. And they were so much into their deep dhyanam that Holika did not know that she was... Panaji, if a fire was burning her, why didn't she... Why didn't she get up and run away? <laughs> well, no. Holika knew. She was a devotee of Narayan Bhagwan. She knew that if she didn't do this, she's going to be killed by her brother. So what is she going to do? She's going to give her life doing something good. She's going to give her life doing something good. Some of us lay down our life to do evils in this world, and some people lay down our lives to do good things in this world. Right? Choose, make a choice. Make a choice. She sat there, and in deep contemplation, the fire came and consumed her. But the fire did not touch Prahalad Maharaj, did not touch him, because he is the devotee of Narayan. He's untouchable. Evil cannot touch him. You know the story, the Lord blessed. You may want to say that if Holika was so evil, why do we use the ash to spread it? Well, there is a deep, deep philosophy. This, these things are very deep and beyond what the, the surface level that we see. Prahlad Maharaj 
knew that although the intent of, her, of, of his poor was evil, she possessed, she possessed good qualities, right? She possessed good qualities. And for, go, for giving up in her life in chanting the name of Narayana, Prahalad Maharaj, take the bibhuti. Remember? When you have a form and an identity, God says, thank you. You already have a form and identity. Go live your life. But when we have become nothing, bibhuti, basma, then we are, we are qualified to meet the Lord. Right? We can be nothing and we can become, we can, we can be nothing in this very form. So Prahlad Maharaj, the next morning, he took the basma and he played the holy with it. Hiranya Kashapu, of course, he tried everything, but nothing worked to kill his son. So he, one night, he brought his son in the palace, placed him as a lap. I says, Beta, nothing I do can kill you. You went to school, tell me what did you learn? Prahlad Maharaj says, Pitaji, Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Vandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atma Nivedanam the verse, This is a verse from the Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran. Prahlad Maharaj says, Pitaji, Mene Sikhaya, Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Swananam Padasevanam Archanam Bandanam Dasyam Sakhyam Atma Nivedanam. These are the nine forms of devotion as per Bhagavat Mahapuran. He says, Pitaji, when I went to school today, I learned about the nine ways in which a man can reach God. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmani Vedanam. Nine ways. We can't talk about all of them, but meaning, Shravanam, my father, I've, lo I've learned that I can bring God through my Shravan by thinking of him. I can reach God by thinking. Kirtanam, I can reach God by singing his Kirtanam. Smaranam, I can reach God, of course, by smaran. Smaran means to imagine his form. Shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam padasevanam. I can reach God by just worshipping his feet. Archanam. I can reach God by doing archana. By saying his name and throwing flowers at his feet. Vandanam. I can reach God by vandana. By singing his praises. Dasyam. I can reach God by becoming a servant of the Lord. Alchanam Bandanam Dasyam Sakyam. I can reach God by becoming his friend. Atmani Vedanam. And I can reach God by becoming one with him, by dedicating my soul to him. Nine ways in which we can reach God. You don't know to sing, fine, serve. You don't know to serve, fine, become the friend of God. If you can't become friend of Bhagwan, then there's so many other ways. Prahalad Maharaj says, Hiranyakashapu, my father, the nine ways I've learned. Not to reach you, not to reach his subjects, but to reach the Lord, Bhagwan Narayana. And as you all know, Narayana, um, when Prahlad Maharaj told him this, he says, where is your God? Is your God everywhere? He said, yes, my God is everywhere. Is your God in this pillar of this palace? Yes, he's right there too. Let him come out and save you. And then... As he was going to, the father, he didn't know was going to harm Prahalad. Bhagwan Narsimha burst out of the pillar of the, of the uh, palace. Narsimha means a half man, half lion. Burst out of the pillar. And uh, destroyed Hiranyakashapu. Can you imagine that? The, burst, the pillar that he burst out of, there's no pran pratishta done, there's no consecration. Nobody worshipped that pillar. We have worshipped the Murti every day. Does Bhagwan ever burst out and come and meet you? But the Lord burst out of a pillar that's never been worshipped. No Pran Pradeshta is done. The amount of faith Prahalad had when he says, Yes, my Lord is in that pillar. That faith. That faith enabled 
the Lord to come out of that pillar. That is what Hindu calls Shraddha. Shraddha means faith. Right? And you all know the story. Hiranyakashipu, the great king, the demon, he took a boon. He should not be killed in the day or the night, inside or outside, above or on the earth, by a man, nor by an animal. Or an animal. So the Lord took the form of Narasimha, half man, half lion. Not a man nor a god. Or nor an animal, both of them. The Hiranyakashipu was killed on the lap of the Lord, not on the earth nor on the, nor on the ground. He was killed at the doorway of the palace, not inside or outside. Nor morning nor night, twilight. The Lord fulfill all our wishes, my friends, exactly how we want them to. And of course, that is one of the stories in the Bhagavad Mahapuran that helped us understand the importance of Pagwa. Today is Purnima when the Holika is burned, right? The Holika is burned. Tonight we are burning the Holika at 7 p.m. ish, between 7 and 7.30. This evening Purnima will start at 5 o'clock. The satsang, the puja will start at 5 o'clock. We are hoping the puja will last from 5 o'clock to 6.30. It's a Sunday night, so we want to finish early. So all those who are coming for Purnima Puja, please come for 5 o'clock to start. Pandiji will start puja at 5. And at 6.30ish, we'll finish. We go outside afterwards to Born Holika. Um, and we hope to see all of you. Today's Purnima, which means the moon is full. And whatever qualities we possess, the moon will enhance those qualities. If you're a calm, gentle human being, today will be a calm, gentle day for you. The moon will just enhance your qualities. But if you're an angry, miserable human being, today you'll be very miserable. And we blame the moon for it. You know why? Chandrama manaso jataha. This mind that we have, you know, the Purushuktam in the Veda, if you want to know how the world is created, the Veda tells us exactly how it is created. Chandrama manaso jataha. The mind, wherever the mind is, I'm pointing here, but you know where the mind is. The mind, Chandrama Manasojata, the mind was born from the, from the moon. Chandrama, the moon, Manasojata. The moon was used to create the mind. So however the moon works, the mind works. The Hindus operate on the, something called the lunar cal calendar, the moon cycle. The moon cycle controls our body, right? The moon cycle controls our body. The moon cycle controls the mind. When the moon is full, your qualities get amplified. Your good qualities, if you possess them, get amplified, or your negative qualities get amplified as well. This is a very beautiful day to meditate, to pray, to be in satsang and in puja. So hope to see all of you this evening at 5 p.m., which means we got to hurry up. 5 p.m. so that we can perform our uh, Purnima Puja and Born Holika at a different, at a decent time. Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Govind Hare. Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Gopal Hare. Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Govind Hare. Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Gopal Hare. Narayan Jai Jai Gopal Hare Narayan Narayan Jai Jai Gopal Hare Narayan Narayan Jai Jai Gopal Hare O Govind Hare Jai Jai Gopal Hare Govind Hare Jai Jai Gopal Hare 
नारायण नारायण जय जय गोविंद हरे 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 नारायण नारायण जय जय गोपाल हरे नारायण नारायण जय जय गोपाल हरे गोविंद हरे जय जय गोपाल हरे गोविंद हरे जय जय गोपाल हरे नारायण नारायण जय जय गोविंद हरे नारायण नारायण जय जय गोपाल हरे नारायण नारायण जय जय गोविंद हरे नारायण नारायण जय जय गोपाल हरे गोविंद हरे जय जय गोपाल हरे गोविंद हरे जय जय गोपाल ओ जय जय गोपाल हरे जय जय गोपाल हरे ओ जय जय गोपाल हरे बोले नारायण भगवान की दिस मॉर्निंग वी हैव टू स्पॉन्सर्स वन इज वर्चुअल सो दिस इज अ वर्चुअल फर्स्ट वर्चुअल स्पॉन्सर अतिशीला रागविन एंड हर हस्बैंड अंकु माइकल they are dedicating this day um, in dedication for sharmada purnima the daughter may bhagwan shiv ji continue to guide her purnima in her daily challenges and activities this dedication is from her mom hematwi ragwen we pray for um, for sharmada and uh, ask the blessings of bhagwan narayan and bhagwan shiva to be on her for healing and upliftment and our love and support is always there with uh, you and Tishila and Uncle Mike and the entire family so bhagwan's blessings on narmada uh, sharmada rather and ask that her um, our prayers be answered and may bhagwan ji bless her always this morning as well um, our um, shrota in house indira uh, malika c kumar uh, that's the name i got here yeah Today she's giving thanks for another year. I'm writing I'm reading the greeting. Giving thanks for another year with health, strength and prosperity. Also for all those those who are part of our lives, may the Lord continue to shower his blessings upon us. Om Namah Shivaya. Well, that's a long way of saying thank you, but we are all we all know here that Malika's birthday was last week Monday. And she celebrated her 5th birthday. So whether how we try to disguise the greeting she's celebrating her 50th birthday so happy birthday malika <laughs> um so sometimes you've got to read be- between the line and sometimes you have to say it as it is so i think i think if i remember right facebook said it was f- it was monday all right birthday and she celebrated her 50th birthday so that's a big deal for a human being it's supposed to mean a uh, half of our life at 50 um but you know we all know that's not the case in this case we want to wish malika happy blessed 50th birthday on behalf of the temple and of course on behalf of all of you lovely people who have come to celebrate with her um she has been a devotee of the temple for a very long time to my knowledge since we opened in melanie just a little after they started coming as a young family we have watched the children grow and uh, Malik and Stanley of course grow with us over those many years. We ask and pray that Bhagwan ji bless her with long life, good health and happiness along with her family as well, Stanley, um Ashana and Sabrina and to all those who are considered to be close uh, to them, Bhagwan's blessings to all of you as well. Um they have sponsored she sponsored last Monday I think was a shrota. This morning she is the shrota and if I correct she is going to sit for purnima this afternoon a lot of ways to use to say thanks to bhagwan and um it's a good thing to do happy birthday to you malika and uh, god's blessings to you 
and uh, your lovely family always. Please give her a big hand, everybody. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's it for the program this morning. We have to finish to make sure you go home and come back on time for burning of Holika. Anybody can witness the burning of Holika, not boy or girl, anybody can witness the born of Holika because it's, uh, you know, you'll see the Indian folks this afternoon when they come. It's a very holy thing, right? They'll bring tali, they bring water, they go wrong, they bring coconut to put inside. These things have great meanings. It's a very holy fire. It's not just a, a bonfire, it's a holy fire. And I hope you can come and witness um, and bring the kids out as well to witness in North America how we born Holika. We do not have the luxury like Gu Guyana. Guyana right now, the people are busy with branches and bush and, you know, the big holika uh, right in Barbies there, my, my village, the Edward cotton tree area. Some of the biggest holika you'll see burning there. Um, I envy that stuff. But in here, whatever little we do, we get some bush aside and so on, and we burn it. It's all right. It's not too bad. So see you all today. And tomorrow, holy is celebrated in the temple. We start puja at 6 o'clock. And uh, Shiv Puja, that has to go on, sing some Chow Tal, and then we make it happen. Finally, thank you all very much for your support um, last week in the Holy Show. The Arti Tayare Paniji. So last week, I understand the Holy Show was a great success, so I please give a round of applause for all the kids <laughs> who made it um, a very successful show. Um, I, I watched cl uh, clips and uh, some glimpses of the, uh, of the show, and it was well done and well executed by our kids. And I got some very uh, nice text told me, uh, telling me I can stay in Guyana because it seems like I'm not needed here anymore because the kids are having a good time. That's fine. I, I have to tell you, the Guyanese people is going to give you all a run for your money because I think they, they like me not more than you, but as much as you do. So you all better behave because you never know, you know. I may decide to spend a little bit more time in Guyana than I spend here. But um, uh, to all the lovely people who are watching, I did not know so many people from Guyana are in tune with our program here. And it was so nice to meet them for the first time. A lot of them came out, a lot of them came out um, to, in satsang to meet me and and um, there is this lovely family from, from Rosal, who I met for the first time. They have been following me for years. And for some reason, they came here and so, but, but they didn't, we didn't meet. Um, Baji Bobby and his wife, Veronica, his daughter, uh, Kathy, Catherine. I met them and um, all they did to introduce themselves to me was to say, we've been following you since COVID and we still do. And, that really lit up something and uh, it was a beautiful meeting among many others that I, I was. So thank you to the lovely people of Guyana who came out for all the satsangs. Um, it was a really busy trip. The minute I landed there, I got home around Saturday morning, last Saturday morning, two o'clock in Barbies. Um, slept at about 3.30. We go back at six to do Stardu Puja and it never ended. It was just, and it was just beautiful. So love to all the folks of Guyana. And um, there's a lot, a lot of requests for us to go back this year. Um, and I will go. I am, I'm going to make time for them. They like this stuff. They like satsang. They like this company. So um, I, I'll go back and spend some time with them. And hopefully we can uh, continue to connect in this way. So thank you all for having me and uh, for being there. All right. Aren't you ready? Bhog, all right. I, Malika, you guys go offer the, the Bhog to Bhagwanji, and um, afterward, we'll do RT. Please stand, everyone. <laughs> Lagavo Piari Shankar, Lagavo Piari Shankar, Avo Bog, Lagavo Piari Shankar, Avo Bog, Lagavo Piari Shankar, Avo Bog, Lagavo Piari Shankar, 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 Lagavo Pi
लगावो प्यारे शंकर चंद्रमा मन सो जात चक्षो सूर्यो वजायत श्रोत्रादायुश्च प्राण से मुखादग्निजात ओम जय जगदीश हरे स्वामी जय जगदीश हरे संसार सारम भुजगेन्द्र हम सदाबंदे भव भवानी सहित नमा माता पिता बंदो स सखा तमे वसुदेवसुतांदेवं कंसचाणूरमर्दनं 
ದೇವಕೀಪರಮಂದಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ರಾಮಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸಿತಾಯ ಪತೈ ನಮಃ ಮನೋಜವೃತತುಲ್ಯ ವೇಗ ಜಿತೇಂದ್ರಿಯಂಬೋದ್ಯಮತಾಂಬರಿಷ್ಟ ವಾತ್ಮಜಂಬರಯುಥಮುಖ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮದೂತ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಸರ್ವಮಂಗಲಮಂಗಲ್ಯ ಶಿವ ಸರ್ವಾರ್ಧ ಸಾಧಿಕೆ ಶರಣ್ಯೆ ತ್ರಂಬಕೆ ಘೋರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ದೇ ಶರಣಾಗತ ದೀನಾರ್ಥ ಪರಿತ್ರಾಣ ಪರಾಯಣಿ ಸರ್ವಸಾರ್ಥಿ ಹರೇ ದೇವಿ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ದೇ ಬೋಲಿಯ ಭವಾನಿ ಶಂಕರ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಬೃಂದಾವನ್ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಲಾಲ್ ಕಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾರಾಯಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಶಿವಬರ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಸೂರ್ಯಾದಿ ಸಮಸ್ತ ನವಗ್ರಹ ದೇವತಾಂ ಕಿ ಪವನ ಸುತ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ವಿಘ್ನ ವಿನಾಯಕ ಗಣೇಶ್ ಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಮಯ್ಯ ಕಿ ಶರಣಸರಿ ಮಾತಾ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಕಿ ಸತ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಮಯ್ಯ ಕಿ ಸೂರ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ನವದುರ್ಗಾ ಭವಾನಿ ಕಿ ಗಂಗಾ ಮಯ್ಯ ಕಿ ಸತ್ಯ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ಕಿ ಗೌ ಮಾತಾ ಕಿ ಭಾರತ್ ಮಾತಾ ಕಿ ಸದ್ಗುರುದೇವ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ರಾಜಭೋಗ್ ಆರತಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ ನಮಃ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಪದಯ ಹರ 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 ಮಹಾದೇವ ಸಾಂಭೋ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭವಂತು ಸುಖಿ ಸರ್ವೇ ಸಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭದ್ರಾಣಿ ಪಶ್ಯಂತು ಮಾ ಕಸೆ ದುಃಖ ಭಾಗ್ ಭವೇ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಬೋಲ್ಯ ಸದ್ಗುರುದೇವ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೀ ಜಯ